The bill, which has already been published and waiting to be taken to Parliament, has attracted reactions from many quarters, the latest being a hardy Kenya CEO, Dr. Stanley Kamau. Dr. Kamau said the discussion should not be mainly on who gets what, but rather how the much received is spent. I will urge all the NGOs to make sure that the money they receive reach the intended purposes. It doesn't matter whether you receive one shilling or two shillings, but the money they received by NGOs should be able to reach the intended purposes. He was speaking during a campaign to alleviate poverty in a few villages in Moranga County, with the main objective being to get rid of jiggers, which are largely associated with poverty. During the campaign, Ahadi Trust Kenya officially handed over two houses constructed in partnership with the Safaricom Foundation to poor people in the country. Apart from uh, removing the jiggers from the feet and the hands, we have the program where we rehabilitate and empower the communities. So we have so many projects that are intended to make sure that the Kenyan people are empowered, they are able to be rehabilitated back to the community. Because like you see this home, if we didn't put up a home, they will still remain in stigma. He also urged county governments to ensure that schools in their counties are cemented to help get rid of jiggers. I will also urge the county government to make sure that all the schools in all the counties in Kenya, they are cemented because lack of cement or lack of cemented floors is one of the major causes of jigger infestation in this country. So if we don't have cemented classrooms, even if we have cemented homes, it's just going to be work that's going to go down the drain. Beneficiaries of the housing units could not hide their joy as they moved from their previous houses, some of which had been brought down by heavy rains. Parliament is expected to discuss the miscellaneous amendment bill on the NGOs Act, which will limit foreign funding for civil society groups not to exceed 15% of their expenditure, a move that has faced opposition from the organizations who see it as a ploy to weaken them. Eric Munene, GBS News.